OK, so uh, we're going to switch gears here now, talk about what's been happening since the beginning of the pandemic here. I mean, we've known that people with diabetes are at higher risk of getting more severe COVID infections. But can COVID actually cause diabetes is now the question. Yeah, that is a big question, too, because we're seeing a growing number of studies that seem to indicate that there could be a link between having COVID and then developing diabetes. To sort all the latest research out, we turn to who we always turn to in these matters, our very own medical health correspondent, Monica Robbins. Good afternoon to you, Monica. This is this is troubling because we, we don't know what we don't know. Right. Yeah. And and Honestly, I've, I've been asked this question numerous times since the beginning of the pandemic. And honestly, there's a lot we don't know. So the latest study found type 2 diabetes cases in kids jumped 77% in the pandemic's first year. Why? Well, in addition to COVID infections, remember schools were closed, sports were sidelined, kids had more screen time, less physical activity. Of course, those factors could have easily contributed to the rise in type 2 cases. Now, another study of more than 180,000 health records of COVID patients who used the VA system showed 40% were more likely to develop type 2 diabetes up to a year later. Other studies around the world had similar findings. Why? Well, let's look at some theories. 90% of the 88 million people with prediabetes don't even know they have it, and they're more likely to progress to type 2. 25% of the 34 million people with diabetes have yet to be diagnosed. And it is possible more cases are being reported now because long haulers are getting more frequent medical care. Yes shown an association we have not shown any causation right like so this is something that we are seeing that it kind of goes hand in hand but we are not seeing or we cannot prove right now that this is the cause of diabetes itself now could COVID actually cause diabetes? Yes, it is possible. Inflammation from cytokine activation, often seen in COVID-19 patients, can cause hyperglycemia or high blood sugar. Then the treatment, such as high-dose steroids, can also cause significant insulin increase that the pancreas just can't handle. But that doesn't happen in everybody. And remember, there, these are just theories. Currently, there is no definite proof that COVID causes diabetes. So, of course, more study is needed. Needed. And coming up at six, I'll explain what you need to watch for if you've had COVID and you might be concerned about your risk for diabetes. So I, we can't get past that 77% in kids and in that the is first year of COVID. And 40% uh, in adults. I have somewhat so, happy news, though, for you. Okay. okay. When it comes to the 77% in kids, that was most often seen in the western and southern states. And hmm. remember, this is going back to the first year when everything was shut down. So, so that's important to keep in mind. Does too. that tell you that in, in some way we caused it because we were sedentary or we were eating differently? I or mean, I mean, what, what, what would we need are, to look for? Those are definite risk factors, not sleeping, poor diet, kids were home snacking. I mean, who knows? But yeah, it was less likely up here in, in, the, in the northeast hmm. states and Midwest, but it was more likely in the western and the southern, uh, southeastern states. That study just came out in the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, just last week. And I'm sure this is going to be something that you're keeping a very close eye on. Mm -hmm. And if it changes or we get any new information, we'll pass it along. Monica, thank you. Sure. Thank you, Monica. Sure. Wow.